Hello, this is Ibrahim, and today I'm going to talk a little bit more about the uploader. Uh, we've seen how to upload a file and how to display and uh, several uh, multiple of images that we've uploaded to a in a given page, and we've implemented something very simple, uh, something like a gallery. Uh, so now, in this video, I'm going to talk a little more about the uploader itself. We have seen that. Let's let, let, let me run the uploader. Just so we uh, we know what we're talking about, and so uh, okay, so here's the uploader, and as you can see, the uploader is quite simple. Uh, nothing there. If we choose a file, we get only to see the images. However, you should keep in mind that this approach is not something to use for validation. This is something just for ease of usability to the to the end user. In this case, the end user will only get to see the images. It's just something to simplify things for the user. That's it. It's not something to use as a validation mechanism or something. If you if you click here, choose image. It's true that we see only the images, but the user can also change and see all the files and can also override this option um, in a cons in in the um, in the browser or something. Anyways, so let's see how to add a little bit more validation to the mix it's always uh, the best approach is always to validate in your server before you do anything just to make sure things are working properly and um, on the client side you can only do uh, you are limited to certain uh, ways to validate the file what I mean by that is simply because you will be using JavaScript and anything can be overridden by the user without you knowing. So now let's investigate a little about JavaScript. So first things, uh, first things the first, I've, all, I've added uh, the, um, I'll be using JavaScript to manipulate among the uh, files to add and append divisions and so uh, to make things a little dynamic here. So I've uh, added the link to, Java, to jQuery. Uh, because we'll be using jQuery here in this example. So the first things we need are basically to make sure that the user... Okay, so let me see. Uh, we have the file uploader here. Okay, so let me add a division. Let me name this as a... Um, uh, let me give it an ID of message so that we display a message to promote us if the file was uploaded or the file was accepted or there was an error in the file or something and we shall add a little bit of script here and let's begin now let us verify that the files uploaded by uh, that are to be uploaded by the user are actually files that uh, have the format that we approve of or the format that we want to support now to do that this is why we have imported jQuery so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the file uploader here and then extract the file names from the uploader and then check each and every file if each and every files extension is from the extensions that we have approved of or that we are supporting then we are going to allow it to upload and now let's go uh, let's try to implement just that we're going to use the selector here jQuery selector and then we're going to choose the file picker, basically the ID of the uh, attribute, uh, sorry, of the uh, element that we want to use. In this case, we're choosing the file uploader. So file picker, that's our ID. And then we're going to implement an event called change. So basically this one, for whatever change that happens to the file uploader, like in the user adds a file, the user changes the files, and so on and so forth, this uh, selector will trigger and implementations will work. Now for each change I want to implement a function that I'm going to uh, implement here. Now in this function what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the contents of the file uploader basically retrieve the file names that are in the file uploader and then verify that each of the files has the extension that we approve of or has the extension that we support. So the way we're going to do that we're basically going to use the JavaScript and then let's create a variable, say for example, input or list of uh, file list or something. Uh, I'm going to name it input. And then I'm going to select the file picker here using document.get element by 
ID and then again we're going to supply in the ID of the element here which is basically file picker like that and then the uh, end of string here now now this input here will contain the objects that basically this will contain the object of the file picker now in here we can obtain the file names as well as the other length of the files that exist in here and so on and so forth so now what we need to do is look through the, the files that this object here and read each and every file that the user has is going to upload so we're going to implement a for loop here and then uh, let's start to create a variable start let's say i um, i equals zero while i is less than the length of elements in the uh, sorry the, uh, the number of files that are in this element here the file picker the way we do that we're going to use input which is basically what we have obtained here from the element input dot files dot length like that so this way in this in this manner we're going to obtain the number of files that exist in the file picker here and then we're going to increment i by one now we're going to implement now we're going to verify that each of the files that we have uploaded has the extension that we support so we're going to use an if statement and um, before well before we do that in this case say for example we have the file name in this format koala.jpg we can have this as a koala.jpg now these considerations are important because um, sometimes the user does upload a valid image image file that for example ends with a lowercase and sometimes it's also still valid using the uppercase now we have to keep this in consideration while we'll check the the, uh, the extension here so let's first of all uh, extract the extension from the whole of string and then luckily in JavaScript we have what is what we call substring and then substring takes in the index from where we want to extract or from where we want to crop the text from basically if we want to crop it here we shall supply 0 1 2 3 4 5 so from 5 this will start cropping uh, sorry this will start taking the string from the fifth index so let's uh, implement this so first of all uh, if statement and uh, we want to make sure that uh, input which is basically dot files and then for this specific file basically denoted with an i for the index basically this is a list of files and then we choose the file that we need uh, using the index that we're using the for loop this is the reason why you're using the for loop for and then from this one i'm going to choose take up the name and then implement substring to it like that now to obtain the index we are not we do not know the exact index so we're going to use the method in javascript last index of so this one basically sometimes uh, this is why did we use last index of and not index of because sometimes the file name can be as in dot one dot jpeg so if we just use the index of uh, maybe the first occurrence would be uh, the first occurrence would result and in this case dot one is the extension it's going to be faulty so last index of will choose the last occurrence of the string that we need it takes in here it takes in here the a character like that so i'm going to do just that now input again similarly let me take the um the file name sorry and then i again dot name and then in here i'm going to use last index of and then we're going to add the dot as the uh as the filter here and then however what we should also do because if we choose in here the occurrence of this this would retrieve the index starting from the dot itself but what we need is we need to we need the index alone there is no need to also choose the index here of the dots so we just need the string or the extension itself so we just add one to the index so that it will crop the string starting from the dot here okay so uh, it's probably getting a little complicated with the tags here or oh, sorry the parentheses okay so I think we are good so far we're good and then we should not stop here we should also add to lower like that just to avoid this kind of scenarios where we have 
uh, different types of extensions, be it a lowercase or, or a smaller case. Uh, sorry, lowercase or an uppercase. Uh, and now, uh, now we're at, we are using this if statement here, which basically is wrong. Uh, it's my mistake. We should store now. This would ex basically contain the extension. We shall store it in a variable called extension. And once we have the extension, we shall use the if statement to compare that the extension actually is supported by the formats that we have. Now, in this case, now this extension would contain basically either JPEG in this case or uh, upper. Sorry, it will always co contain a lowercase extension. So now we need to verify that if extension equals maybe any of our supported formats, be it JPEG um, or maybe extension equals maybe uh, PNGs like that. Uh, let me add, uh, put this in uh, places like that. A second. And this one here as well. Uh, yeah, let me add this here as well. So now, if this one is satisfied, any of this, if the extension is, uh, if the extension equals JPEG or equals PNGs or any of the formats or even TXT that of any of the formats that we actually support, we want to display a message to the user that this is approved of. Uh, in this case, we've named this uh, element message, so we're going to use a uh, message to display the message. We're going to use the jQuery selector like that and use the ID msg and then dot text and then we supply in the message that we need. In this case, files are supported. Uh, yeah, that's it. Else, what we want to do is we want to tell the user that the uploaded files are actually not supported. Let me copy and paste this. Files are not supported. Now, given that the files are not supported, we do not want the user to simply just upload the not supported file. In this case, what we need to do, we need to empty the file uploader. We do that simply by using document get element by ID and then we choose the ID again it's called file picker and then we're going to give it a value of null in this case the, the file uploader will be reset in that sense uh, the reason why we have to do this is because the, in this method this approach we cannot actually change the file list that the user has uploaded basically it's a security measure uh, by the browser so that you will not be able to access the uh, user local files um, that are in, in, in his PC or whatever. Uh, basically, generally speaking, it's a security procedure. Uh, in that sense, you cannot modify the file list, list obtained by the file uploader. There is a way around this, which is basically to use the file reader API, uh, which basically, uh, I think it's supported by most browsers now. Uh, anyways, this is uh, as an example just to show you how you can get things done, and uh, I think this is sufficient to get uh, to get by. Yeah, so let's verify this. Let me run the restart this here, and let me just open up the uploader. Let me refresh. Oh, we have a problem in 28. Let's just verify. Oh, we have a we have a typo there. We're generally not using Python; we're using JavaScript. My mistake. Let me restart this and restart. No error show. Let me upload, for example, penguins and files are supported. Let me upload multiple of images. Files are supported. Now let's try to upload some text with the images. Files are not supported and images, files are not supported. So I think we're good to go. And now uh, that we have the validation up in place again, for proper validation you still have to do a proper validation in the server. Now say for example this one will be executed here and in the app.y we still have to verify the uh, file name. Now in this case uh, for the file name here will contain the file name 
and what we need to do is still we have to get the extension simply by using the OS method and then from there we can get things ready in this case I just minimize the page uh, for example here since we have the OS already imported what we can do is we can store the extension sorry we can store the extension uh, sorry obtain the extension using os.path and then dot splits oops split text and then we give it the file name so file name now will contain the uh, yeah we all we all have to also specify the index for the extension because I'll show you what this will return without without specifying the index in a bit but generally the extension will contain now the uh, extension of the file name obtained this way in this manner then you could go uh, either a switch statement or an if else statement that you could uh, sorry uh, you will want to implement an if statement that you want to verify that if this extension is one of the supported files and then you could go from there okay so I hope that was uh, helpful and and another method or another, uh, to answer one of the questions and how to save to a given path so for example you have multiple users multiple images and so on and so forth how to know what to store uh, which image to store it where now one of the things you could do is you could implement an Ajax implementation in which you just simply as you upload the, the file you would want to send it to the server and then read uh, the response from the server using Ajax method uh, there is also another method where for example you would have a form for each specific reason say for example uh, let me just pause this for a second and add in files okay so I added in a couple of files basically in Batman and Spider-Man now I want to upload specific files to specific folders here now one of the approaches that we could actually use instead of us uploading immediately to uh, URL for upload here we could have upload for each of the specific files here either be it Batman or Spider-Man or what we could do is that we could pass in the folder that we want to upload as a parameter here say for example uh, folder name as we have seen in the previous videos and then you could supply in the name of that file and in the in app.y you would want to modify this to also accept in say for example string and file name and then you would want to sorry folder name and then in here you would want to, to accept in folder names like that and then you just append folder name to images here now this could be another approach also another method would be to decide on the logic here now that you've got the image here you would want to specify say for example for a user ID you simply would need to to get it from a session for example the for each of the users you want to upload dedicated folders for each of the users assuming that this is the username Batman and the username is stored in a session so you would want to append this as a uh, dot format and then you would want to take in session and then maybe a username like that in a string and in this case you would know which folder to upload to anyways um, I understand that this is uh, quite a big topic to talk about and uh, I hope this was helpful. This video was basically to show you how to add a little bit of validation to the client side um, to support only formats that you approve of. Again, if you need to, f you, you still have to validate them in the server side using the uh, split string, the, the, the approach that I've showed you earlier, just now, sorry. And you can take it uh, to the next level from there. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for following and have a good day.